Gil, we need to take out those bomber jets before they destroy the hospital. You know, you have really pretty eyes. What? Nothing. Let's just shoot some planes down with our bows and arrows. The hospital's been hit by a plane! Oh, everybody's dead! They're all dead! Oh, who could have done something so stupid? Ew, boy. You blew up an entire hospital! Everyone you were supposed to protect is dead. Yeah, but did you see that shot? On the first try, even. The mission was a spectacular failure, as were all the missions you planned. Tell her, Plutarch. Okay, well, 50 civilians from the Lumberjack District were shot dead after receiving our intel to run away from eight guards and climb some trees. That's real stupid. Meanwhile, Operation Blow Up Damn Real Good suffered heavy losses. But we succeeded in shutting off the power in the Capitol, right? Yes, we did, for about 10 minutes. But everyone from the Water District is now dead. Run at the armed guards with bombs, she says. Set the timer for 30 seconds, she says. Why are we listening to this adolescent Dits. Why are you listening to me? I didn't ask for this. All I did was survive two Hunger Games with a boy that I didn't even like, but I knew he liked me, and as soon as he becomes suddenly unavailable, I find him totally irresistible. I agreed to be your Mockingjay for one reason only. To save the boy I have a crush on. What about Gail? He's so much hotter than Peter. Yeah, but Gail's available now, so I'm totally not interested. Oh, come on! Well, Cadmus, while your military plans have caused the death of pretty much everyone in every district, we did succeed in one thing. Peter's alive and well, and in the next room. Peter? Peter, Peter, Peter! <laughs> Peter. Oh, Peter. I thought I'd never see you again. And now that I see you here in person, I finally realize that I'm just not that interested. Sorry. Can we just be friends? I want you so much right now. <laughs>